Hey, what's up, everybody? We are here, King Jason W. We are going to go do some raids. We're also looking for a couple new members in our alliance. So if you are around 2,000 trophies or higher, or level 55 or higher, we really, really would like you to come to our alliance, join the alliance. Uh, we're going to be fighting in the war season. So what we do for the war season is we go, we fight one war season really, really hard where, like, everyone pretty much has to participate um, and then we take one war season off and we just relax, chill, farm some gold. So that is how we work out the war seasons now. During the war season, we have uh, right now archers, barricades, and knights on pretty much 24-7. Sometimes occasionally uh, cannons in there. So if you do want to come join, and again, if you are around 2,000 trophies, level 55 or higher... Uh, is what we kind of need for the uh, alliance war. So if you are not there yet, just go ahead and do a couple more raids, some level up, and uh, you know work your way up. And definitely send us an invite. It's Wyvarlution. I'll put that down in the descriptions, and you can see it every time we raid here. So yeah, we definitely would love to have you guys come join the alliance. Um, honestly not sure why I've got pyromancers and mortars on my uh, troop summoning. I must have been doing something crazy last night. It's not really going to matter much because mainly I just focus and use archers pretty much non-stop for those uh, that don't know me. Just spam tons and tons of archers. At around 38, 3900 trophies that works pretty well. Archers and max level shield gives them a ton of life. Able to soak up damage and just blow down things. People have asked why we don't really like push up into the leaderboards, and um, the main reason is that there's no point. It's competitive, yeah. You can try and be, you know, personal best record, uh, but the gold amounts that you get are going to be roughly the same. You're not going to gain really, uh, you know, more gold by going higher up in the leaderboards you're actually going to get approximately the same gold, but the fights are going to be tougher and harder. And so a lot of the times you either have to have more elite boost on from your alliance, or you just have to scroll. Ah, oh, what happened? All right, sorry about that, guys. So um, I don't actually play on my PC. So what happens sometimes is I use an app called Reflector. Reflector reflects your screen from your iOS device. So I have an iPhone here, iPhone 4, and that mirrors it onto my computer. So occasionally there is glitches and errors where the system just kind of like malfunctions and it can't connect via the Wi-Fi and it flips out, kind of like what happened right there. So we did win 100% on that base. It was a little bit close. Um, the mortars and the biomancers really didn't do anything. So let's go ahead and change those guys out for something else. I personally like the mummies because they spawn right next to you. And we can go ahead and throw in some frosters to help slow everything down and to keep your to keep your archers safe. So here is a very, very easy base. I'm um, going to start making a list of easy bases for high level players. So this is an open base, lunatic underscore planet. Just jot that down. So if you have any other easy bases, uh, definitely post them. We'll be making a new video on that shortly. There's also a small one for people around the 2,000 trophy uh, mark. Some easy bases there. So anything you can do to help out others to gain gold, uh, have more fun in the game, is to me, it's a great sense of, like, you know, fulfillment because really the game has no end at all uh, you're constantly just scratching and clawing your way to the top of the leaderboards and even if you get to like position number one you're still not going to be happy because someone's going to be knocking you off and you're going to you know lose trophies and you're going to get frustrated and angry and it's all competitive it's all about like staying on top being on top and staying on top that's the whole you know in the game for this game for any uh leaderboard style game 
So doing something nice for the community that gives you like, I don't know, it, it gives you like kind of like a sense of purpose in the game. Whereas you play for fun and you got to come to a realization that you're never ever going to be the number one player in the game unless you are in one of the top, say, five or ten alliances. You spend uh, a good amount of money. The game is fairly pay to win. And it seems like it gets more pay to win as it goes on. But it doesn't mean you can't have fun with the game. And when I say pay to win, it's it's because of mainly of the scrolls up there. See in the top right hand of the screen, you have ultra powerful scrolls that when you use them, they cost the premium currency. You can actually earn the premium currency in game so it's not that bad of a pay to win system but you definitely burn off a lot more gems and pearls than you can actually earn in a, a reasonable time frame by playing the game so like this apocalypse scroll right here costs 25 pearls and to get those you have to spend around seven or eight gems so that apocalypse scroll approximately costs 200 gems to use and that's a lot of gems and you can see the other score right there it's only costing 10 gems which is a lot cheaper you can actually get 10 gems fairly easy they do have daily tournaments and you can also get gems from when opponents actually scroll on your base and when they scroll on your base you'll get it like one or two or if they do a lot of scrolling you'll get a couple gems but wow look at that insane amount of cannons right there his waves were just like nonstop filled with cannons. Thankfully, I had troops that were spawning out of the tents, and they acted as a mini diversion for the cannons. Because if the cannons all focused fired on the king, the king would not have been able to survive like thirty cannonball shots to the head. I mean, think about it: no one can survive thirty cannonball shots to the head. It's just not. It's not not possible. Alright, so we're at the end. We it's gonna be really, really close. Summon out a mummy. Oh, he's got a boosted castle gate. I don't know if we'll be able to break through the castle gate. So the the boosted castle gate does a lot of damage. And it has a, a lot of extra life. So let's see. This is just a huge race to the clock here. We have another sonic blast coming off right now. And it looks like we barely beat it. Wow. So close. Whew. Yeah, if only those cannonballs to the face um, actually killed the king. Huge amount of loot right there, 450. So this is the way you can actually get gems, is in the treasure chambers. You can also get uh, hero gear, as you can see there. Most of the time, you're going to get a couple gems, or a couple pearls, like one pearl, two pearl... If you get the gems, you have to get all three correct treasure chests, and then you'll end up winning like 60 or 70 gems. So you can get a good amount, but you have to be very, very lucky. I think the statistical odds of actually getting all of those three treasure chests is like one in every 40 or 50. I haven't calculated it recently, but I believe it's up there. It's a pretty rare chance. You get into that treasure chamber minigame once you defeat a castle gate. You don't need 100%. To get in there, you just have to beat the castle gate. So on some of the easy bases that don't have like towers and such, you can just rush it and go straight for the castle gates, finish it off, get into the chamber of fortune, and you know pray to R and Jesus that you get the gems there, or get some nice hero loot. So you notice we're not seeing very many bases over 200,000 loot right now. And that's because the war season is over. So people are now starting to farm a lot in the actual you know, matchmaking system. Whereas during the war season, you see tons of bases that have 200, 300,000 in loot. Because everyone is fighting in the war season. And they're kind of neglecting the loot that's out for taking. So this is probably the best number we're going to find 170,000 
every time that we keep trying, we're spending like a thousand gold to look for an opponent. So we just have to suck it up and eventually take what we get. You also have a favorites list where you can favorite people. So when you find someone that has a decent amount of loot, you definitely want to add them to your favorites list. Bring out a couple of frosters, sit back and shield everyone up. And so there's massive strength in numbers when you have archers or R blasters. So R blasters boosted are extremely powerful, but you do need to have a lot of morale points to make that effective because you need to have a group of R blasters like this. You need to have like 10 R blasters together. When you have that, you have a massive power force and they all start chain healing each other as well. So you need a lot of morale points. Morale points can be gotten by hero gear or by leveling up. Not to be confused by the other morale points that you use for your castle guard, your waves. And you see there's like a graphical slowdown. So there's frosters everywhere. So everything is getting slow. But then there's so many units on the screen that it's like a, a graphical slowdown. And that's what's supposedly been causing the glitches lately with the sword rain and the blizzard. Even higher up, it gets way worse than this. There's Not only do you have a sizable army like this for yourself, but the opponent, the waves, have this many troops in there as well. And the game just can't seem to handle that many troops on the screen at the same time. And unfortunately, the clock does not slow down. So you're looking at not enough time to raid bases, mainly due to the graphical slowdown, the frosters freezing everything up we I mean we're probably not even gonna get to the castle gate with this base Yeah, 19 seconds left. So we are like barely there. So it's not too, too, too severe, but it is kind of choppy sometimes. I don't know if you can see it on the, on the video there. Uh, and again, it has to do with like, pretty much lag and like graphical slowdown too many enemies on screen too much stuff going on and they're hoping to fix that they changed up the r blasters recently um to shoot one shot rather than four since their animation had like machine gun style but that didn't really help the sword rain and the blizzard spell that much so we'll have to wait and see and unfortunately it seems like they can't really fix this issue for some reason um They've had over a month now to try and fix it, and things are just going downhill right now.